Hello everybody, my name is Ketema, welcome back for another video of Old World, we're going to continue this series. Obviously, it's a really good game. This game is uh, really good. Uh, I'm enjoying playing it for you guys. We only played one video so far, uh, one that was a test and another one that was an, the actual beginning of our let's play. So we did a lot. We uh, built up uh, Babylon, right, which is uh, the nation we chose. It's already at level 2 of, I guess the city is at level 2 of citizens. It's still growing, it's going to be level 3 in no time. We have two projects, so we got an inquiry and a triumph that's been done. Our developing is already at 11.9, uh, so we definitely upgraded our developing big time, which is what I needed, right, is what I wanted. Uh, we're struggling a little bit for the iron. And the food is a lot actually, but the food is something that we can eventually just get easily by constructing farms, which we are working on right now. I can't uh, get uh, do anything with these guys. Yeah, this is my only general I've got. I'll cover a couple of things here and there. Don't have anything else to do. I do have a wife and I have a son as well. So we're going to end this year right here and go to the next one right away. Not waste some time. So what is this? Exotic pets. A uh, delegation from a distant kingdom has arrived at court. As a mark of respect, they offer a choice of exotic creatures to add to your royal menagerie. Which animal should we choose? Monkeys are pretty cute. Uh, tropical fishes? Or nothing at all? Uh, well, monkeys or tropical fishes, boys. I'm gonna say tropical fish. Uh, yeah, because monkeys, I feel bad if, uh, to... I would feel bad to have monkeys. Like an occasion, something like that. So I'm gonna just go tropical fish. Yeah, I'm just gonna choose that one. We are in the next year after all, year 12 already. It's going pretty fast when you're done with it, right? So we got, I think this is a farm. Uh, fresh water. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a farm. So it gives us off some more stuff, more, more food. We're gaining food now. That's really good. What about this? This is a mine. Now mines do give us that, which we need right now. What about this? Another farm? I could build just another farm right here, but a garrison. I don't know what a garrison does. It's minus per year. Uh, it gives us more, more of this. I don't need more of this right now. I think I'm good now. I definitely need more uh, civics per turn and also the science rate, right? The science is really important. So I'm just, I guess we don't really have anything going on. So I'm just going to continue to I guess build on our stuff really so build a farm right here just continue to build a farm uh, before I get move you up I'm gonna move this guy up right here because he's gonna be the one in the next turn to start attacking the barbarians and stuff and you I guess over here you can start moving uh, where do we go I, I guess we should go here oh I think we uncovered yeah we got uncovered uh, another nation uh, Assyria has already established a great civilization in the distant lands, but he wishes to see the world. What should we tell him? Uh, invite the traveler to settle in Babylonia. Our troops encounter a traveling artisan. Oh, it's just an artisan, I guess. Take him captive to learn? Uh, yeah, but if I take him captive, that's going to me uh, make me look bad in, uh, in the eyes of Assyria. I'm gonna gain a lot of science, but I don't think it's it's worth it. I don't really don't think it's worth it. Uh, King, blah blah blah. Uh, tell him nothing of us. That's uh, governor, city defense. What about this? Uh, invite to travel. I don't think I really need a farmer right now. I'm gonna go for tell him nothing of us because I don't really trust these guys just yet. I don't know what they're all about. So we're going to be uh, careful here to not uh, do anything stupid. There you go. Let's march him until this max thing is done. We got to choose a new production over Babylon. The, uh, the last one was done. I think it was something for the, uh, the culture now. Yeah, it was a festival. So the culture went all the way down uh, up and we actually bring down the discontent a little bit, which is good. Uh, we could start working, I guess, on a forum or a treasury. Treasure would give us even more culture. I think we're all right for the culture right now. 13 per turn is pretty good. Uh, what about the forum? It gives us more civic. I definitely think we need more civics. 
Uh, so I'm gonna work on that. Can we actually up up it a little bit? Yeah, I don't have enough civics or enough money. I have enough money, but uh, I don't have the thing that I need. But uh, it's gonna take four turns. It, it should be all right. Should be all right, boys. Let's. Uh, we don't have anything else going on. No, we don't. So we don't have anything to do. Let's just skip to the next year again. As simple as that, really. Oh, hold on. A king drove back the enemy assault. He toppled from his horse, shattering one knee. He had to be carried off the field. And surgeons say he may never walk again. God. Our king just got crippled, boys. Damn it. At least his life uh, was spared. We shall spread news of his sacrifice. I'm going to get some money. And we're going to get some training out of that. Spread news of his sacrifice, boys. I'm not sure if the volume was too low or something. Uh, I, I'm going to fix it if I have that uh, need be. There's another nest, actually. We could build that. It's good. Look, these nests, it's like fisheries things. It gives us a lot of luxury in the uh, culture. It gives us a lot of culture, so that's pretty good. Farms. I don't think I'm going to need another farm right here. Culture is going to be really, really important. So let's just go ahead and get that... Uh, that nest join there you go we're building big time or siggy right here get that done continue to work on it oh there's uh, another pop-up right here let's see what it is uh scavenging through the ruins we find significant amounts of stone iron and wood however local raiders could reach the ruins by nightfall we can uh we can't fight them off but we can carry some of the loot back home which uh of these three would you like us to bring back let me, let just me bring some stone because wood is easily uh, gettable, right? You can get wood easily, so I don't think I need to focus too much on that one. And my son, what age is he now? Let's take a look at our thing. So my wife is 30 years uh, old. I'm 42 now. I do have another son, so we did get another son. My eldest is four years old. My, uh, my youngest is two years old. Do we have... Did we change it to where it's... Where I... What I wanted it to be? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I want it to be dynastic. But I can't change it. I need civics. Civics, I'm just... I'm not gaining any civics, man. Holy shit. I would really like to do this. But we need seat for some reason. I don't know where seat is. Or how to get that. But I would really like to get it. And uh, also our general, right? So our general got, uh, I'm just going to go, oh, we can't uh, do it, but our general is crippled now. So that's uh, a bit bad right here. A little bit bad, but it's fine. We can still fight. Our king can still fight, boys. Queen Consort Belasunu uh, wishes to learn the fine art of court uh, courtly persuasion, but she abhors a crowded feasts and reveals. Okay, how shall we accommodate? Hire master or raider? She wants to do it. I mean, I've got plenty of money. Yeah, go ahead. It gives us um, it gives us more culture per turn too. So absolutely, I'll give it to her, man. It's really important, all this thing, all this shit. All right, so we got this. In one turn, it's going to be done. Good, good, good. What about you? All right, start attacking, my guy. We're almost done with these guys. Well, actually, not really. They're not gaining, we're not doing a lot of damage actually. Yeah, we're not doing a lot of damage. That's not too good. You guys got this. You can uh, you can survive this. I, I believe in you. What about this unit? Okay, so my scout, we're going to continue to move him right there. We're going to see what's in it for us right here. Really interesting. We do nothing really too good with this uh, clear space. We can at least see that we've got clear area. Like, we can choose our city where it goes wherever we want, really. Assyria, which is the next uh, place, right? Assyria. I don't exactly uh, know where they are. Where they are? Oh, they are all the way, all the way there. And Persia is all the way there, too. Uh, Persia has three from cities. Really? So, I think they've got three cities, then. So, Persia has three cities. Same thing for Assyria. They've got three cities. I only have one city, boys. But I've got the Angian Gardens, which is helping me out. I really need to start building this city, uh, another city then. I need to work on another uh, settler because uh, they've got 
they already have uh, two East cities, these two. So I need to work on another city right here. Maybe settle on the south or the east uh, really quick. So that's done. That thing was done. So that's really good. Now that that is done, we even grew up to level 3 of population. Or uh, we are at 15.1 of developing now for the culture. Okay, so we got the forum, which means we should be able to... I mean, it doesn't give us civics, though. I don't know. I don't understand. How does that work? All right. You know, let's just... I want to get that, but we need we need the settler right now. We need big time the settler. So we need to work on it. I can't... I need seat. I need the patrons. Require your patrons. I don't know how to get that, boys. That's kind of confusing to me. I don't know how to get that thing. Uh, let me just go ahead. We could also build roads, I believe. Can we? Uh, requires labor force. Do we not have labor force? What about the technology tree? Where is it? Okay. Where is labor force? Do we have it? Yeah, we're going to need to work on that if we want the roads and stuff. Ro uh, the road system. We are not doing so good right now. What do we need to build to help out a little bit further? I would think of build a mine, right? I'm just going to build a mine, I guess. There we go. Just build a mine and it should be good. You are just going to continue on your merry way. I need to search for some new areas for us potential, uh, for our potential place to settle, I guess. You are going to just continue to bombard these guys until they're dead. One more turn should probably do it. They're really hurt though. I gotta be careful. I don't want them to die or anything. They're really hurt big time. And our general, of course, is fatigued, crippled. Yeah, he's crippled right now. He's having a tough time. He's getting a lot of XP though. That's for sure. Uh, come on, uh, Simon the Foreigner. What is this? The young uh, Simon the Foreigner, the younger. That's a long name. Uh, an esteemed member of the Persian court arrives with a special request. He wishes to remain in Babylon as a former foreign ambassador, living among our people but supporting the cause of his fellow Persians abroad. The honorary position would include a special uh, spatial home and access to the court, with, uh, but it would certainly bolster relations with Persia. We could just do this one. This is one of these options that we can get because my king has gracious. So, uh, yeah, sure. Let's just do that so we can have a great minister or something. Now we got a courtier, which means he can work for us as a great minister, a diplomat or something like that. You know, he can help us in the long runs, I guess. Oh, we haven't done. We're not done with form yet. Oh, that's why. That's why we. Okay. Why would they tell us uh, that? The, I don't know, boys. We're in for one turn, we're going to be done with form. That's going to give us, right? Two plus two, that, that's at least plus five. Okay, all right. Shit, man. That's a, it takes a long time to build these things. All right, n next year. We're into the next year. Gotta choose our new research. You already know I'm about to go for this one, labor force. We need, uh, we need labor forces right now. We're gonna go ahead and kill these guys. There we go. Destroyed that barbarian camp once and for all. These guys are gonna need to heal up though after that. We got two workers that are done with their production in my city as well. And now we are now... Oh, nice. That, so that's what it did. Oh, shit. So plus 12 in Babylon. Wait, those civics, that's what it does for us? Just one forum gives us that much. Man, I gotta work on these forums quick. Because the civics are really important for me. Yeah, alright. Alright then, so that's done. We got a we got a farm. We got a mine. I'm gonna work on the mine right here. There we go. Worker in another mine. That's done. This worker right here. We don't have roads right now. We can work in another mine or just work on the farm again, or a garrison. Garrison urban building. Uh, garrison would give us what would give. Okay, I'm just gonna go there. I guess. What would a garrison do do for us? Apadana. Oh, hold on. Build the Apadana. That's going to give us more culture. More. Yeah. We got to do that, boys. Now, it's going to give... We need uh, stones. I'm going to buy stones. Um, how much does it cost? Uh, I think it's 600, right? We got 300. 
Like that, that, and that. There we go. Cost me a lot of money right there. But we gotta build it. Infidiator as also gives us a lot of culture. But it brings down the stone per year. Which I don't need right now. I'm already not producing any stones. We're gonna work on it, boys. The Apadana, man. We already have the Anian Gardens right here. If we can have another, like... Another uh, wonder in the same city. That would be fantastic for us. Absolutely fantastic. All right. We're still continuing our journey right here. We got another thing. Oh, we got the e Egyptians, boys. Two overturned wagons have discovered and in clearing. Their goods scattered across the grass. A woman and her children weep over a dead body. The survivors claim that a bear attacked them without warning. Escort the survivors to the nearest settlement. Provide the side us with a guide. Promise to notify the nearest settlement. I'm going to escort them to the, uh, to the nearest settlement. I'll do that. It's going to uh, waste some of my uh, things, but doesn't matter. All right. Uh, it's worth it because now I'm in good grace with Egypt, which I'm probably going to need to be if I need to go to war against these other two assholes uh, eventually that are not too happy with me, so... You can see they've got plenty of cities right here. They're pretty close to Assyria. Yeah, uh, Egypt, boys. We got actually we got we got some dice. We're gonna send some dice to them too, some luxury, so they uh, might be even more happy with us, right? So there we go, boys. That's that's that. Choose a production over Babylon. Now we cannot work on that because we don't have stones. But uh, I want to work on a settler right now. Yeah, definitely. We need to work on a settler. Um, I don't have enough money right now. Cannot hurry settler because I don't have enough money. But, uh, okay. So, I could hurry him though. It is a possibility to, for me to do it. I just need the money right now. Which I'm working on big time. So, I should be able to hurry up, hurry him up eventually. So we're going to work on the settler. So get our, uh, another city right now. That's what we need the most right now, boys. Got another thing right here. Victims of the bear attack have, uh, are delivered safely to a settlement of their nation, Egypt. The village leader thanks our people for their kindness. Uh, Queen, the Ashepots or whatever. The founder of Egypt. You aided our citizens. So plus 20 opinion just because of that. Express a desire to cooperate in the future. Uh, plus two uh, per culture level. Good. So plus two growth. That would be good. Or that would give us uh, coins per year. So basically trades. I'm going to do this one. A desire to cooperate in the future. I do want to cooperate with them. Look at their army. They look beautiful, don't they? With their shields and everything. Egyptians are dangerous, man. Yeah, they're dangerous. So we got to be careful. Keep in mind, uh, in mind that... Uh, they're not to be trifled with. Let me just do that really quick. March on. We're going to go back into our territory. Heal them. Uh, we're, I'm 46 years of age. I'm still crippled. Might have to retire from military service, boys. Because of that whole thing. But uh, let's take a look really quick right here. Going to continue to uh, march on. I cannot march on right here. Can you not give me, like, access to your territory? I don't think that's a thing, right? Turns to complete. Infiltrate. No, I can't have access to their territory. So I'm just going to move around, I guess. And see what you have around you. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely working on our settler. Money. See, we're already at uh, 300 because of the money and everything. So money uh, is not a problem right here, boys. Hurry the settler. So now it would cost only that? Hurry uh, for settler. Cannot hurry settler. Increases the future. Why can I not hurry him? I have enough money. I don't get it, boys. I don't get how that works exactly. I really don't get it. We'll just wait, I guess. I want to see what my opinions are right now. So they're cautious or so they're happy with me. They're all right with me. See, these two are not happy, though. These two are not too happy. And I don't like that. I don't like the fact. So we might have to. Once I've healed up my unit right here. I might have to ask Cleopatra. Which has a lot of. Well not Cleopatra. But whoever the Pharaoh is. To help me out in my in a war against the Assyrians. I'll tell them you can get the territory if you want. I don't care about it. 
I just need to take care of them because they, they're not too happy with me and I feel like they would attack me. So before they can attack me, right? Might as well have a coalition or some sort. Promote the king. Upgrade one this he leveled up. So a plus one discipline. What does he have? Charisma and wisdom. Discipline. Uh, okay, so what about this? Discipline upgrade plus two HP would be good. That would be good. Plus two discipline. I'm going to do discipline though because that's going to give us uh, discipline gives us more XP per year, which would be really great for us. There we go. We're almost there. Almost there. Any of our workers done? Not really. We're still working on all of this. It's going to take a while to build the Apadana boys. I don't know. I don't I don't get it. I don't know why it's not working. Why I can't like hurry it up. Maybe it takes one of these things right here to, to do it, I guess. Let me just continue my search for uh, this uh, planet, I guess. We're good here. Next up, Spark. What is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, our one evening, a courtly reveals end. You meet a fascinating young envoy for f from far away named Atossa the Younger. She's got uh, courage and charisma. All right. Uh, her beauty catches your eye and your, her laughter lightens your heart. As the sun rises, Atossa asks if she may, may meet you again when she returns to Babylon. Sitting her cool gaze upon you, she waits for an answer. We might have a problem here, boys. So do we have a second girl? That uh, That is nice, but we must be uh, in ni uh, right now. That would give us a lot, uh, even more discipline. I'm going to just do that. I'm going to be... I'm going to be faithful to my uh, to my wife because I need discipline right now. That gives puts us at uh, plus two discipline. That that's a lot of XP. That's a lot of XP per year just for the army right here. So that's really good. I don't know how many years I've got left, but my son is nine years old. I need civics to go up. I, it's going up slowly just because we have the forum, so it's helping out a little bit. But I really need civics to go up big time right now. All right, so next turn again, 19 year, uh, 19th turn right there, boys. Uh, nights can be long when you bear the mantle of leadership. However, one evening as you lie in bed half asleep, you experience a flash of insight, something bold, something that will impress. impress. So uh, even more wisdom for us, right? Well, that's our wisdom doing that, I guess. If we have wisdom, that means that we can instantly get uh, technology and stuff like that, which is good. Write it down. Acquire uh, random technology. No, just write it down. Write it down, boys. That's what wisdom does for you. It's really important to have wisdom because it gives us, uh, it gives us random technologies, which really helps us out. So we got... Uh, we're just going to go here. Heal ourselves up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got our worker right here. Working on a query. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to work on a quarry because right now... We need some stones. We need to actually get some stones per year. We're not getting any. What about this guy? We can still march him out right there. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, they're really close to Assyria. Look at that. That's crazy. They're close to each other. So military drill. What is that uh, exactly? So what's the military drill thing? I don't exactly know what that uh, gives us. Military drill. There it is. Oh, all right. So it gives us uh, more training, which is good already. Uh, minus that per year, though. That's not too good. But it's basically barracks. We've uncovered barracks, which is more ma uh, more training for military units and stuff like that. So that's fine, I guess. I, I really need to start working on these things. We're not actually not really... We're gaining a little bit of science. It's fine. But I need to uh, like gain a bit more science per turn. That would be great. If I just could uh, build, like, have more science per turn. It would really help out, boys. Alright, uh, hostile skirmisher. Okay. We got uh, another problem. Uh, barbarians again popping off everywhere. That's not good. If we need to settle a city right nearby. I'm either going to settle right here. Or I'm going to settle, like, uh, this is a bit too close for my other city, though. Well, oh yeah. Well, I guess I don't really have a choice, right? It should be here anyways. Either going to be here or here. 
I need to work on these barbarians too. Fuck, man. I don't have any, like, I, I need another warrior unit. I think I'm going to need to have another military unit to help me out. So, melee and infantry. What? Massaman. That's a battle line. That's, like, uh, for fighting and stuff. I'm going to go for ramparts. Ramparts because it goes, it's definitely going to help us. So, let me go for that. Build garrison, a quarry, or build barracks. Not, uh, I don't like barracks. That's a bad one. Garrison is a bad one too. Let me just build some quarries everywhere. There we go. Just build that, and uh, you can go in in between and go s see what's going on in here. There we go. Next unit. Yeah, you're just gonna continue to heal yourself up, buddy. In th in this time out uh, away from the court, Simon the Fournier which is our courtier, has been investing in a variety of scientific pursuits. He comes to you with an exciting new development, a method with which scholars may gain knowledge by observation and dedication. Really? He believes the discovery will revolutionize scientific pursuits, but he is not sure for the best uh, you how to best use it. Apply it to a project currently in development, so just acquire random technologies just like that again. Or provide us this with better practices. Create a process. I am not smart. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not smart. I don't have intelligent. That would give us more culture per turn. Apply it to get another te random technology, I guess. Yes, because that would be 100. That would not even be enough to, for my rent parts to get done. So just acquire a random technology. So composite bow. All right, so we got some bows here. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. Composite bow is that right here, which means we can have archers now. And archers are really good, boys. It's the I think it's actually the upgrade, right, for my slinger. Yeah, upgrade. So we're gonna upgrade him to an archer in the next turn. He's uh gonna be a uh, way better now. Yeah, we I actually need uh, someone that's a melee unit though. That's the thing we need the most. He's 11 years old now. Okay. Yeah, civics is going there. Okay, it's getting there. I need like 200, 400 to make decisions every time. That's a lot, boys. So we need a lot of civics right now. Our king is heal. That's not too good. If our king is heal, uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to an archer. Must be fully healed. Oh, okay. We must be fully healed first. Okay, so now we are fully healed. Can we upgrade? We can't upgrade. Yeah, it's one thing per turn. Damn, one per year. Next turn, we're going to be able to upgrade them. Fuck, man. That's rough. But we do have the Settler. We have the Settler, boys. Which uh, I want to settle right there. I, I really do. Have, like, over here and over here. Both places, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and settle there. That's going to be perfect for us. It's going to be... Uh, uh, it's going to be far away from this, uh, our capital, but... I mean, it's still, I feel like this is what we should do. So, uh, I guess I'm going to have to work on the warrior unit. I don't really have a choice. I'm getting a lot of money per turn already. So, I don't need treasuries. I, I really, what I need right now is, you already know what I need. So, second city, I know. Air education. Uh, uh, my son is of age. So, what do we want him to study, boys? What do we want him to have? Uh, courage. What do we need the most right now, eventually? We're going to need uh, courage. Science will be really good. Uh, civics. I'm really looking forward for civics. So civics or science is what I want to go for. Uh, definitely. One of these things. Or he could become a merchant. But that's not really important for me. I'm thinking science. Philosophy. We need some more science. Just to get more stuff right. So next unit. You are this guy, so you're just going to continue on your way here. Go get around this, uh, get around them, because I want to see perfectly what their territory, territory looks like. I think we're good here. Next turn, our settler, we're going to have a new city in our next turn, boys. And we're going to have an archer, too. Uh, they have four cities now? Yeah. Persia has four cities and Assyria as well. Uh, Egypt still has three cities. I really need to work on that third city, uh, second city, boys. Settlers are going to be really important now. Your doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is near. Time to get your affairs in order. All right. It looks like uh, me getting healed and everything did not end well for me at all. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade my unit right here. We are now an archer. I cannot release my general just yet. So in the next turn, I'm gonna have to release him. I'm gonna have to release my king from being a general. I'm uh, I'm actually dying because I'm crippled. That doesn't help. I could just it, maybe if I just retreat from my army and re like maybe try to not be healed anymore. Maybe that would be uh, that would help me out a little bit, boys. I can't lose my king right now though because that would really hurt the civics and everything. He's not quite ready yet. He's got the wisdom, but he's not quite ready yet, boys. I I need more time. I need more time. I cannot die just yet. Origin of the state, what is this? Cato, the great thinker and politician, comes forward with a text, a text chronicling the story of Babylonia. His account includes all the major events in the nation's history, both inspiring and tragic. And, and spares no one in his critical assessment. Should we make this document available to all, or should we prohibit prohibit his distribution to protect the state? I don't want to pre. I want. I, I don't want to prevent him. Uh, he's like a philosopher or something. I don't want to prevent him from doing anything. Recruit the politician Cato to the court. Yeah, we could re just recruit him. Make the document available to all would give us a lot co of culture, right? But I just hear. Let's just recruit him as a great minister. So now we got our minister in a courtier, boys. He could do a lot of good things for us, right? So that's uh, what I'm thinking right here. Let's uh, go ahead and get over here. And we're going to settle our second city. Now, I think... Which one are we? I'm not entirely sure which one uh, we are. Which city. Uh, which uh, family we are. Not entirely sure right here. Uh, oh, we are this one. Okay, so this is a family. This is our family right here. If we choose another one, what happens? So, uh, basically we found this one because it was plus two culture per year. This one would give us plus training per year. What do we need the most right now? Uh, training? Culture, I think. I, that's for the city itself. Let's uh, give it to the I Isen uh, people. There we go. To the Isen. Because uh, that would give us even more. There we go. More civics, boys. More civics is the best. So we got that right here. We can... Uh, once I'm done with one of these workers, I'm going to send them down here at least. Uh, I'm going to need a worker in here. A warrior unit? Absolutely not. One thing I want to do... Now, we don't have... Uh, culture is really weak, obviously. But uh, what I want to work on is... Uh, I want to work on this... I guess a uh, forum, right? Uh, I want to work on forum. First thing first. You work on the forums. We don't need gold. Uh, really don't need any. That's uh, the cost is costing a lot of money actually. What does it? So what does the treasury do? Plus ten per tier. Now if I'm doing fine with the money. Money I'm doing fine right now. I can't even use the money for anything really. Uh, it's not. I've got no use for it. So I've got a bit too much money. So I, I don't need to uh, to do anything with it. I think we're good on this side. Yeah, we can't even go further right here. This is the, our limit. We can't go into their territories. So that's that basically. So I'm happy about our new city, which is Akkad. Very interesting. We got nothing going on aside from that. Palatum the Merchant. Oh, what is this? Is that uh, the leader of the, the other city? Maybe it is. Yeah, I think it is. So, uh, courtiers, what does she give us exactly? Courage, she doesn't have any courage, so minus one courage. But she gives us more discipline and more wisdom. Wisdom is all the way up there because of, yeah, Akkad and everything. I'm going to leave it here for right now, boys. I'll see you guys for the next uh, video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. Keep it easy.